They filed a lawsuit today against the federal government over a little bird. They say the golden-cheeked warbler, which only breeds here in Central Texas, is hurting property values and isn't endangered anymore. But Alyssa Gord reports Austin researchers say the warbler is not in the clear yet. We should not have the federal government continuing to impose civil and criminal penalties associated with this bird. Robert Henneke is representing the Texas General Land Office in the lawsuit to have this bird removed from the endangered species list. We have a species, the golden cheek warbler, uh, that is no longer endangered or threatened. The suit focuses on a 2,300 acre tract of land in Kendall and Bear counties, but it could have implications across central Texas. Because of the uh, limitations placed on the property in light of the listing of the warbler, it has uh, impacted the value negatively. It cites a Texas A&M study which suggests the warbler's numbers are growing. All of those models overestimated the population. We've looked at places from where the A&M model might have predicted 66 golden cheek warblers and we go out there and we find two. Sherry Cool has been working with the city of Austin to protect warblers at the Balcones Canyon lands in West Travis County since 1990. Numbers from their recent study with U.S. Fish and Wildlife paint a different picture. But because the numbers are low, because the models tend to overestimate the population, and because the habitat is still being lost to development and to ranching activities, we feel like the bird still warrants being listed. The U.S. Department of Interior and Fish and Wildlife now have 60 days to respond to this suit. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. And a spokesperson for U.S. Fish and Wildlife was not aware of this lawsuit yet, and so the agency did not comment on it today. The executive director of the Travis County Audubon told us today they will do whatever is needed to defend the golden-cheeked warbler against this lawsuit. Right now, to build where the warblers have been spotted, you have to get a permit from the Fish and Wildlife Service. That can cost up to $500,000. But the fee is mainly to mitigate the loss of warbler habitat, so the cost is relative to the size of the development.